So to make our little cow topper here, I'm going to take some white gum paste and I'm just going to work it here to remove those creases. This is going to be our little cow's head. I'm just going to knead it. and start rolling it into a ball here. So I'm going to slightly cone his head just slightly. And then just kind of press it up a little bit with my thumb. This is where we're going to place his nose. I'm also just going to give some little indents here with my fingers just for his eye area. And he is slightly sticking to my surface so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch. Of Taking my balling tool I'm just going to take and let's work this area. I don't want it too deep, just enough for a slight indentation. So next I'm going to take this tan color that I made ahead of time here just by using some dark brown gum paste, a little bit of yellow food coloring, and white. This is going to be his nose, so I just got to size this. Just want to see. It's fairly large. Okay, so I just kind of rolled it into a ball, and then just using my finger, I'm going in the center here just to kind of give it a little dip down. If that makes sense. And then I'm going to flatten it with my fondant smoother. That looks good. So before I apply that, I want to create where the holes for his eyeballs. We're going to put the black. And before I stick this on, I do want to make the little holes for his nose. So I kind of just want to hold it there and just kind of see where I'm going to put them. Right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the little holes. As you can see, we've got some cornstarch on the back, so we are going to need some water to apply this. I personally like to squeeze a little bit of water onto the table and apply it to my piece instead of applying it directly to the piece. This way, I have a little bit more control over how much water is being applied, and I don't have issues with it just sliding off my piece. Now I'm just going to tack that on. Okay, so we're going to take the black here, a little bit of black fondant, and we're going to make his eyes. So I've just taken and rolled out two little balls here and just inserting them into the socket. So next I'm going to get out my white gun paste and I'm going to make his ears by rolling two balls and forming them into a teardrop shape. Once I'm pleased with the shape, I'm going to go ahead and flatten them with my fondant smoother. 
I'm then going to get out my tan color and do the exact same thing that I did with the white gum paste, only making them slightly smaller as these are going to be the inside of his ears. I'm then going to take those pieces and attach them to the whites of the ear. Next, I'm going to pinch one end of the ear and gently fold it, not entirely in half though, just enough to create a subtle crease within the center. Then I'm going to take my ears and hold it up to the side of his head to determine where I want to place them. And then using just a little bit of water to attach them. Next, I'm going to make his horns by rolling out two balls of gray gum paste and forming them into a teardrop shape. Once I'm pleased with the size, I'm going to attach it to the top of his head. Now using the finer end of my black edible marker, I'm going to draw on his eyebrows. If you don't happen to have an edible marker, you can use your fine point paintbrush and paint his eyebrows on. Next, I'm going to take my pink petal dust and blot it onto the paper towel before painting the inside of his nostrils. This is just gonna help add some dimension. Next, I'm going to paint the light spots on his eyes using my white gel food coloring and my fine point paintbrush. You'll also notice that I have some rolled up pieces of paper towel just propped underneath his ears. This is just to help keep them in place while they dry. I'm then going to take my smiling tool and create our cow's mouth. I'm then going to add dimension to a smile by going in with the leftover pink dust on our paintbrush. Next we're going to work on the body portion of our cow. I'm going to take and roll out a ball of white gum paste and then cone it. I'm then going to press down on the top part just to flatten it slightly as this is where we're going to place our head. To create our cow's legs, you're going to take and roll out two logs of gum paste. I like to tap it against the table just to flatten the bottom part as we're going to place the hooves here. I'm then going to take a sharp knife and cut at an angle so that our legs are going to sit nice and tight up against the body of our cow. Using the tan color to create our hooves, I'm going to roll out two balls. I'm then going to flatten it with my fondant smoother. And then using the tips of my fingers, I'm going to slightly pinch the top part of our hoof. Using my knife, I'm now going to cut a tiny slit in the top portion of our hoof. I'm then going to take and use some water to apply them. And to help spread the tip of the hooves just slightly, I'm going to go in with the tip of my knife and spread. To make the two front legs, we're going to create them in the same fashion that we did the two hind legs. Only this time, I'm going to slightly comb the top part of it so that it fits nicely up around the top portion where we will be placing the head. and then you're going to create the hooves by following the exact same steps we did before. You may find that when you hold your cow's legs up to its body that they might be a little bit too long. Just take and use your knife to take and cut them down slightly. Then using your water, go ahead and attach them. Next, taking a cocktail stick, 
you're going to break it down to the appropriate size so that it's not going to come through the top of our cow's head. And then using some water, you're going to attach the head by gently, yet firmly, pushing it down against the stick. To make our cow's tail, you're going to roll out a thin line of gum paste and then cut it at a slight angle at the end of it, as this is where we're going to apply the black part of his tail. Rolling a small ball of black fondant, I'm going to shape it into a teardrop shape. I'm then going to attach it to the end of the tail and use my Dresden tool to create little lines that will mimic hair. Once you're happy with the look of the tail, you're going to place it on the back side but not yet attaching it and gently curling it into place so that it will dry and hold its shape. Next going in with my fine point paintbrush, I'm going to take my airbrush black color and start painting his spots. There's absolutely no right or wrong way to do this part. Simply paint different shapes of irregular sizes all over his body. And because my cow was beginning to stick to the table, I placed him on a sheet of parchment paper onto a cake board. This just makes it easier to move him so that we don't have to touch any of the wet spots that we've painted. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and attach our tail and then finish painting on a couple more spots. This concludes how to make our cow. Thank you.